Hey guys, this is Break, and I just want to do an update tutorial on how to install Demo Viewer, considering my last one is outdated and I'm using different programs to host my pugs now. So, first off, um, you want to reallocate your current version of Counter Strike that you have installed. So, to do that, you're going to go to your properties and your local files, and you're going to browse local files, and you're going to go back to your common folder. And you're going to rename this to underscore new, which is your current Counter-Strike folder. And then you're going to right click and uninstall. This will not delete your game. Um, <coughs> and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to right click your uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. You're going to click on properties. You're going to switch to betas. And then you're going to click on demo viewer. You're going to close it. And you're going to start reinstalling it. Now, for the sake of me already having the game installed, I'm not going to fully re-download this, so I'm going to pause it real quick. But once it's done downloading, it's going to be another normal Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This is what your demo viewer would look like once you complete the installation. Now, for me, I'm deleted because I already have it installed. This is my version right here. So once it's done installing, rename it to Counter-Strike Global Offensive underscore demo viewer and then you're gonna uninstall it again after you change the name <coughs> you can delete that folder if you want and then to go back to your normal counter strike so you can continue playing the normal version again you're gonna click on none opt out all beta programs and then you're gonna change your current counter strike folder back to counter strike global offensive and then you're gonna click install and it's just going to discover all your game files again, so you're not going to have to reinstall anything. I'll show you what that would look like real quick. But this is going to take a little bit, so I'm just going to skip the video. Alright, once it's done, it's going to give you this prompt, and you can finish it. Now your counter strike will be able to be ran again. And uh, to add demo viewer into the Steam library, what you want to do is you're going to go to your games. You're going to add a non-Steam game to your library. You're going to browse. And then you're going to go back to this comment folder. You're going to go back to the demo viewer folder. Uh, I know I have this shortcut in here. Um, but you're going to click on csgo.exe. It's going to be checked. And you can add the selected program. And then under your, under your Steam library, it's going to be CSGO. You can always right click properties and rename it to Demo Viewer or whatever. But this would be what your Demo Viewer installation or your executable. So if you want to run Demo Viewer, you would run it through here. And then for the next step, I'm going to be need you guys to install Zero Tier. This is how you're going to be able to connect to my servers through VLAN. Um, I'll leave a link for this in the description. And once you download it, just go through the whole installation process. It's probably going to make you create a login and everything, but it's nothing to worry about. And then once you download it and you start running it, um, there should be a thing in the bottom right of your Windows. It's like an up arrow. You can click on that, and then you right click it, and then you click on Join Network. And then my network ID is going to be what I have right here, and you're going to be pasting this into. Uh, when you click join network, you're going to paste that in there and make sure you have all three of these checked and you're going to click join and to confirm that if you're in the right um, yeah, click yes to this as well to confirm that you're joined properly if you right click the little icon, I should say demo viewer 2019 which is the host and once you have everything done with that um, to connect to my pugs, I'm going to be leaving um, IPs to the pugs uh, in the announcements for the group right that I have right here. Oh, can't select it. There you go. I'm gonna leave announcements for like when I'm be hosting the pugs and where I'm gonna leave the IP and stuff like that. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can add me on Discord and message me. That's probably the best way to contact me, or just leave a comment and I'll try to reply to you as quick as I could. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be hosting a pug later today probably after this video is uploaded, so thank you.